Hello everyone, in today's video we shall learn how to do the simple box text effect in Notion. So let's get started. So as usual I'm going to write down, type down the code and later we shall test it out and see if we made any mistake or not. And if we did, we shall learn how to correct it as well. So let's get started. So when you see this simple box text uh, effect in Notion, it looks as though it is in a box it is uh, in a box of course and it is also stacked like it's one one line is cool another line is box another line is text which means we have to use the sub stack function so these are the two functions that we will be combining uh, and uh, writing down the code so yeah so I'm going to start off by using the boxed function which is mainly the outline of the box so that is sorted out so the next thing that we want to do is we have to um, bring in a cu open curly bracket and after that like I mentioned earlier we are using two functions actually it's three uh, which you, when you include the text function as well but these are the two main functions so the other second function is substack because you're going to put it in different lines. So substack comes into action right here. So substack and again another curly bracket. So the main portion of the equation is sorted out. So now we can focus on what text we want inside the box. So as usual you can actually use any font you want to use math scr uh, function or you want to use math bb function or you want to use the typewriter font function here you can do uh, that as well I'm going to stick to um, being very simple and straightforward so I'm going to use the text uh, um, font and when you use a function except for the functions such as box and substack and few other but when you have to use a function such as text and the function such as color you have to have two curly bracket that is one open and we have to close in one as well so inside here I'm going to um, type in content I'm going to use hey and again you're going to go, go ahead and close it so after this is done I want to go to the next line to do that you have to use two backslashes one and two so it automatically goes into the next line where you are in the equation but for now I'm going to the next line directly by hitting uh, shift and enter alright so you want to repeat this as many times as you like depending if you want a five different lines so you have to repeat this five different times well basically you already have one but four other times so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to type in text slash maybe a capital letter and cool text and again close then again a second line so again enter text I don't know. Uh, yeah. So once that is done, uh, you can go ahead and uh, close in the brackets. So we are almost done and we are towards the end of the equation. The only portion that is left is to make sure that the brackets are uh, sorted out. So let's go ahead and see if we have both the open bracket and the closed bracket together and by that I mean like if there's an open bracket there has to be a closed bracket right so let's do that this is done this is also done this is done okay we have one right here and another one right here so two uh, closed brackets so go ahead and do that one and two so we are done so now let's go ahead and test out this code and we shall see if we made any mistakes or not so yeah I'm going to type in hello I'm going to copy this 
and if you do the uh, equation by heart and you can make your own equation you can directly go ahead type the word and you can use the create equation or the block equation uh, you know so I'm gonna go ahead and use this and paste it there alright we didn't have any equation errors there so hit done and I'm going to turn it into H1 so that it's uh, big and visible. So there we go. It's not that difficult. It's really quick and easy. And it gives a bit of uh, edge to it. And it's like a stamp kind of look. It's like a simple box text because the name is says. Uh, but yeah, it's really fun and cool. So I hope you learned something from this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.